Right, well, we're down at the beach here. Lovely evening. Um, I'm just going to do a quick little video, just basically show you what I'm looking at, how I'm kind of looking to appraise it, how I'm looking to shoot it. Uh, all fairly straightforward. Uh, nothing complicated. And this is just really to get back into making videos. Because it has been quite a while since I've done any kind of log work and all of that kind of stuff. So, today we have Nikon D850, uh, the 24-120mm lens which I got in January, first new gear in a long time. On that we have the 6-stop ND filter on the front of it, so that'll help control the light, etc. And we have got a lovely scene which hopefully you'll be able to manoeuvre around for you. So we have this scene, uh, just something nice and simple. But one of the attractive parts is that we've got the darker cloud above, which is nice. Gives a good contrast against the, uh, the lovely evening light on the grasses of the dunes and on the, and on the sand itself of the dunes. We've got a nice bit of open beach to work with as well. Uh, it's a bit messy, but we can get away with it. That's all right. And yeah, that's basically our scene. And it's just a lot of it. We're just going to be work it, working with a bit of rotation. Um, moving pretty much left to right uh, and just build up a collection of images uh, and hopefully get them edited together later on so let's get on with shooting so settings we have we're shooting at about 35 mil um, autofocus and then lock it to manual so it doesn't hunt and ISO 64 Shutter speed just short of a second, and at the minute we've got f7.1. So we'll see how that goes, and um, we just adjust it as and when we need to, really. Appraising after each image that's a bit light, so maybe it's increase that, maybe it's to f9. It's a bit better, actually, it's a bit dark. Let's get f8. That's better. Now we can kind of work on things. Changes of movement. That kind of thing. So what I'm trying to do is just follow the contours of the, of the dunes and just kind of blend these in. I'm just trying to keep that lovely dark sky prominent we're not going in for anything for anything extreme. It's going to be a simple little image. Just trying to get a bit of movement in the dunes. Nice and steady movement. Um, as if some of these are looking quite nice. And what it, what we've got to do is you've got to you've got to shoot four numbers. Take as many as you can, and then you're going to have plenty for later on plenty to edit with uh, that is it is a numbers game it is it's just not it's not rocking up clicking the shutter once and walking away it is you've got to work at it um, lots and lots of images you can vary the things a lot as well vary your positions to get good results vary your speed very vary how much movement vary directions so much to to think about so much to do um, but that, yeah that's it's pretty much how we do it, uh, and it's just a case of doing it as much as we can. So I did, I did a lot of little slower movement kind of uh, shots before. So let's try some faster ones, a bit more snappy action. It would probably tire the arm a lot quicker. Um, but you've got to try these things just to see how we, how we do, um, see what the results are like, and then make more decisions and creativity and how you can move after that um, as we go. One thing that I have having problems with with this lens is that it uh, it's a little bit loose so it kind of creeps um, so obviously all the extravagant movement that I do, um, it has a tendency of, I have it, I've had it set at 35mm 
that last shot there, I just looked and it was at 70. So that's how much the lens can move. So if you can, get a lens that's quite tight. This one is not tight, she's pretty loose. Uh, which is not conducive, so you've got to keep an eye on it if you want to keep your uh, your composition um, intact. Because as you process it as well, layering them together is going to be a lot more, a lot more complicated, a lot more stuff to deal with in post. So, just one thing to to watch out for. Um, I've never had an issue with lenses beforehand, but this one is she's pretty loose when she's wide open. <laughs> I think I need to get some Velcro to keep uh, to keep that together, I think. Some the other way just to see how we're getting on. The only thing with that is that's bringing a lot of a lot of sand into the left hand side, like the, the warmer colour of the of the sand in the left hand side, which is kind of spoiling that lovely dark bluey grey uh, sky. Um, so that's the kind of thing you've got to keep an eye on as well. Always find that like grass in front of ruined buildings the green is very dominant and in this case if you're moving this the sand into the sky into this lovely gray bluey sky then it's uh it very much a case that the all those warm sands end up in the sky and kind of ruin that so it's a balancing act so that's why we shoot lots lots of variation uh, and then piece them together later on when you've got all the control in the world working in Photoshop. Well, there you go, that's just a nice quick little vlog there, just the basic scene which I've kind of worked on. Uh, we'll head back to the office now and whatever is comes out of that, I will put it the after we finish. Yeah, forgotten how to talk in these damn videos again already. There is going to be a full tuition masterclass coming in the coming months. It's going to take me all summer to record, maybe it's even a little bit longer. So we're working on that and they will be with, uh, with you as soon as possible. Um, but yeah, there is some in-depth tuition coming. Basically what you would get if you came for a one-to-one -one with us. Right, there you go. Uh, thank you again for watching and we'll catch you in the next one. Till then, keep hard. See you.